Lesson 7.3, Count Collections of U.S. Coins. We can put coins in order from greatest value to least value to count their total value. It's easier to count their value this way because we can use counting patterns, like counting by tens or by fives. So we've learned in the last couple of videos a quarter is worth 25 cents, a dime is worth 10 cents, a nickel is worth 5 cents, and a penny is worth 1 cent. And remember, the size of a coin does not show its value. Here's a dime, it's 10 cents. It's smaller than a nickel, but worth more. Here's the nickel, it's worth 5 cents. It's larger than a dime, but it's worth less. So. Don't confuse the size of a coin with its value. Here, it's telling us to order the coins from greatest value to least value, then find the total value. So to order them from greatest to least, we know pennies are the least, so we can put the pennies over here. We know the quarter, that's 25 cents, that's the greatest. Here we have a nickel, that's five. We have a dime, that's 10, that's 10. So we have 25, 10, 10. Then we have a five, and then we have two pennies. Those are the least. And we can count their value. We have 25, 35, 45. Now we're at 45. If we add five more, we're at 50, 51, 52 cents. And it helped us to put them from greatest value to least value. If we had started in the middle or with the pennies, we would have had two cents and five more is seven. Then we would have had 10 more, that would be 17 and 10 more, that would be 27. Now we have to add a 25. So it's easier to start with the greater value, add a 10, add a 10, add a five, add ones. Here's a collection of coins. It's telling us to draw and label the coins from greatest to least value, then find the total value. I see a quarter here and a quarter here. So we have two quarters. So we can draw and label them. That's 25 and another 25. Then I see a nickel. That's five cents and it's a little smaller. So we'll go like that. And I see one penny, and that's a little smaller than a nickel. We can go like that. Now we can find their total value. 25 and 25 is 50. Five more would be 55, and one more would be 56. This collection of coins is 56 cents. Be careful counting each coin's value. We count quarters by counting 25s. We count dimes by 10s. We count nickels by 5s and count pennies by 1s. Here it's telling us to order the coins from greatest value to least value, so we need to do it again, and then find the total value. So we know quarters are the most, so we can put the quarters first. I see another quarter here. We know the pennies are the least. They're only one cent. We'll move them down. We have a dime. That's 10. We have another 10. Oh, look, we have another 10. And we have a five. So now we have 25 cent quarters, 10 cent dimes, and a five cent nickel. And then we've got some pennies down here. We can add them at the end. So let's count them. We have two quarters. Together, they make 50 cents, right? 10 more is 60. 10 more is 70. 10 more is 80. So now we're at 80. We need to add a 5. Now we're at 85. 86, 87, 88, 89. It's 89 cents. Bob has three quarters, one nickel, and two pennies. He wants to buy a pencil case that costs 92 cents. How much more money does he need? So we think, 
We can add the values of the coins he has, then compare the total to how much he needs. And we can draw coins to help us find their value. He has three quarters, so we draw three quarters, 25 cents each. He has one nickel, so we draw one five cent nickel. And two pennies, we draw two pennies as one cent each. So now we can count how much he has. We count the quarters by 25s. 25 and 25 is 50, and 25 more is 75. Then we have five more than 75. That would be 80, 81, 82 cents. So he has 82 cents, and the pencil case costs 92 cents. So do you know how much more Bob needs? If you said 10 cents, you're right. He just needs another 10 cents and he'll have 92 cents. Tala has only pennies and dimes. She has double the number of pennies as dimes. And the total value of her coins is 48 cents. So what coins does Tala have? Well, we can guess and test different amounts to see if they will equal 48 cents. That would work. It might take a while, but we could guess and test different amounts of pennies and dimes to make 48 cents. We can also make a table showing the values. It's very important that we remember that she has double the number of pennies as dimes. And it's important to remember they total 48 cents. So we can make a table of dimes, pennies, and the total value. If she has double the number of pennies, that means if she has one dime, double that would be two, two pennies. And one dime, two pennies, that's 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 cents. So that's too little, that's not enough. If she has two dimes and has double the amount of pennies, that means she has four pennies. That's 10, 20, and 4 is 24. And that's not enough. We need 48 cents. If she has three dimes and double the number of pennies, that means she has six pennies. That means she has 10, 20, 30, 6 cents. If she has four dimes and double the number of pennies, then she must have eight pennies. That means she has 10, 20, 30, 40 cents, and eight pennies is 48 cents. We know that this is the right one. She's got four dimes, eight pennies, and they equal 48 cents. So making a table can help us. Be very careful when you count the coins. Make sure you're counting them at the coin's value. Don't make a mistake and start counting them all by tens when they have different values. Our next lesson, 7.4, we're going to show coin amounts in two ways. Have a really good day. I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.